last night I was about an hour north of Pittsburgh, right on the border of Ohio, and listening to a town hall with the United Steel Workers talking about sort of the things that are important to them, which is workers' rights and retirement, but also talking about the divisions among them, the differences. Listen to what Bernie Hall, one of the leaders in that union, had to say about those differences. Well, I think union members are no different than anybody else, right? They don't live in a vacuum. So it's not just about, you know, labor issues. They also are concerned about women's rights. They're also concerned about education. Uh, in some parts of the state, um, gun rights are a big issue. But at the end of the day, typically, um, what we find is working people vote their paycheck. You know, what's going to pay my bills? What's going to keep a roof over my uh, head? What's going to put my kids through school? So Bernie Hall was really trying to make the case in that meeting that workers should really be voting their pocketbooks. But he also made the case that they cannot be um, not be thinking about the political atmosphere which in with their voting. And he was talking about the Supreme Court case um, and the poised decision to possibly overturn mm -hmm. Roe v. Wade. He said if the Supreme Court can overturn a, a, a law for that from 1973, what about the 1935 Wagner Act that said that companies had to organize and had to uh, sort of negotiate, rather, with the unions mm. um, that were helping employees get better wages. So it was a real connection, a really interesting connection to hear him make that case. You know, Yamish, I'm curious, and, and look, if the answer is no, it's no. Did you see any evidence of any of the Senate candidates sort of making a play for any of those workers last night? John Fetterman was very, very popular among that crowd. They were saying that he came, he talked to rank and file workers. It might be the shorts. It might be the fact that he feels more like them. But he mm -hmm. apparently made a very, very uh, good pitch to them, and they feel good about that. I will tell you, though, that one union leader said something to me that is stuck in my head ever since he said it. He said it's really going to come down to the three Gs among the rank and file, and that is God, guns, and gynecology, Chuck. That's an interesting third G that we've not heard before.